Today on Always Hungry, we're making a crudo with a beautiful sea bream on a beach in Greece. Let's go. So first step, I want to get the scales of this fish with a knife. You can just kind of like run it down like this and put scales everywhere. Obviously on a beach is better because you don't get shit all over your kitchen. So yeah, just scrape it all. And this will make our fillet job way easier. See this? Okay, so now all their scales are off. Next step is to empty the fish, take the guts out. But you know what? We won't do this on camera because you guys don't deserve it. Also, it's not very pretty, so I'm just gonna empty this guy, rinse it off in the water, and then come back for the fillet. There we go. Beautiful fish, scales are off, guts are out. Now, ready for some fillet. What we do is we'll start here on the top. All the way to its head. And then we'll do a little incision here. Like this. You just want to follow the spine all the way down. And then you want to just lift your fillet like this. Always following your natural lines. You just want to see inside a little bit. That's the sound you want to hear. Just close to the bone, baby. This. And now once that's done, you can come here. and just follow your bone all the way down. There you go, and you have one beautiful fillet, like this. No waste, clean fish, I'm happy. And then same thing on the other side. So here we go, that's our uh, leftover fish. No more meat on there. And now, you know what? We get to give back to the ocean and just gonna feed a couple of fish for sure, so we'll just throw it back in there. Little uh, lance. Now, one more step before we get to the curing. We'll take out some of this uh, fat here, all the white stuff. Just take as less as you can. You don't want to waste any of that beautiful meat. Okay. Oh shit, <laughs> that didn't go well. Okay. And then, once you get here, there's a bunch of bones. And obviously there's some uh, better fish tweezers, but I have my little tweezers here, so we'll try to get some out like this. You can just go with your finger. Kind of feel it like this. So my uh, tweezer is not doing the job to take the bones out. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of like work around it. So I'll do some fillet around the bones and we can do some crudo slices with this. I'll just take the skin off first like this. Skin off, skinners. Just let, your work, just let your knife do the work. Just slide it down. And there you go. And you get a beautiful fish skin like this. No waste. You can keep it for a, a wallet maybe here for your next shoes. And now what we'll do is work our way around the bones, which are here. So I'll go like this. Okay, so now all the bones are here. Do one. Little waste, whatever, fuck it. Little waste, baby. Okay, so now we kind of went around the bone. This does a bit more uh, waste for sure, but you know what? Sometimes you're on a beach and you have to go with what you have, so. 
So we'll do the same with the next fillet. Okay, next step, we have our filet here, fish, and we're gonna do a quick cure. Uh, we usually do like a mix of 50-50 uh, sugar and salt, but now we only have salt, so I just go lighter on the salt. So just some fine salt on top. And what this will do is not only enhance the fish flavor, but also it will firm up the, the flesh. So we'll have a nicer, nicer bite to the fish. You can do this up to like 50 minutes. Uh, in Japan, sometimes they'll do it like between some seaweed uh, to get a nice uh, flavor in there. But just salt is fine, and you can do it on both sides like this. And once we're done with the curing, we'll rinse it under fresh water, and we'll be good to do our slicing. And you'll see a fair amount of moisture coming out of the fish as it cures. This should be good. There you go. Okay, so now for the crudo, keep it very simple. I have a beautiful red onion here. I have some beautiful prunes, a grapefruit, parsley. So you don't want to go crazy with the garnish. So we'll just do tiny sliced onion like this. Want to get the core off like this. Get a little more here. Okay. I'll just do half an onion, that's perfect. And then here you can just kind of like cut it real, real thin. So red onions we have, we can put these on a little plate for now. There you go, so onions in. You kind of break them down like this too. And then we'll keep going with our prunes. Let's just cut it in half like this. And we'll just do some nice little slices. Just like this. You want everything to be fairly thin so like, there's no like crazy chunks when you eat your crudo bites. Everything should be kind of the same in terms of thickness. There you go, we have beautiful prune here. That should be enough for one plate. Okay, next step, beautiful grapefruit. Also the goal here, guys, it's a big challenge, but the goal is to have zero sand in our crudo. On a beach, not easy, but you know what? I'm always up for a challenge. So for this, we'll just take this, the top off, like this, and we'll do some beautiful segment. So just peel and go around the flesh. I always try to go for one piece. Take your time, but hurry up, because the sun's coming down. And I can just cut this part off as well. And here you go. You have a long grapefruit slinky. And you can just kind of like <laughs> suck it and trash it. And now, take all the skin, the, the, white, the white off the grapefruit like this. Make it nice, you know, we're on a beach, but we can make things nice, right? There's no rush, except for the boat guy. Take that off. Beautiful, now we can do some segments here. We'll just do it all on the plate, because you know what? We're on a fucking beach. Not going crazy here. Okay, cool. A little more white stuff. Beautiful little segments. So now all this juice in there, you don't want to waste it. So I have this uh, plastic container, not very eco-friendly, but you know what? Sometimes you're on a beach and you have to go with what you have. So just squeeze that in there. All that precious grapefruit juice. And oh boy, is she juicy. You know what? I had parsley, might use it, might not use it. But I think we're good for garnish. We have beautiful prunes here, grapefruit, red onions and we're good to cut the fish. Okay, so the salt has been curing for 50 minutes. I did a cold water rinse, some fresh water, pat them dry. We're good for nice little slices of crudo. 
You don't want to go too thin because then you have no texture. So I like to do like a nice little, nice little, I guess, I don't know, half an inch maybe like this. So like this. And place your slices like this. And you see doing the curing also makes your cutting way easier because the flesh, the flesh, the flesh is not kind of like uh, breaking apart. It's staying in nice little pieces. It's almost like candied. Candied sea bream, baby. That's beautiful, guys. So now all the hard work is done. Now it's plating time. So we'll take our nice little tweezers, because you know, we're on the beach, we're still not animals. So just nice little pieces everywhere like this. And obviously, you can't see it, but there's four of us here, only one fish. I'll do a quite loaded plate, you know? because we deserve it. We've been fishing all day in the sun. We also didn't have any food except for some nasty cured meat. So now we're have a little treat. And this is freaking beautiful, guys. This is actually a beautiful crudo. We could have catch a stinky mackerel, but now we have a beautiful sea bream. And life is good, you know? Life is good. This. Perhaps like this, like this, and then there's one spot, one spot here, there you go. A nice little slice to finish, this one's nice here. There you go. Okay, time to garnish. Now we have our beautiful crudo here. We have some, so I said earlier prunes, but someone pointed out that it's not a prune, but a plum. And uh, sorry for all the plum fans out there. So yeah, here, some pieces here. And when you do a crudo, when you make a crudo, there's no rule. Just place everything. If it feels right, it feels right. If it feels wrong, you know, just put it somewhere else. For me, I like when it's like a natural vibe, you know? Places there. Places here. And also for me, the goal when making a crudo is that every single bite has a bit of everything. So for me, I like to put tin garnishes with all over the place so everyone gets the same flavor when they go for a bite. This here, maybe I put one more there, and one more in the corner here, and that's it for the beautiful plums. Actually, one more here. And now, same thing with our beautiful grapefruit. Also, I like to make it kind of like all point in the same direction like this. So it's like natural, but also it's like, you know, it's nice on purpose, guys. Take your time, make it nice. Make it nice. A little more here. Look at these colors too. We have the golden hour hitting right now. The sun is beautiful. One more here. One more there. We're almost out of sun, so I have to hurry up. And this here, pretty good. And now some onions as well, I go with my hands. Onions all over the place. Make sure they're nicely sliced very thin. So it's not too pungent when you bite into it and over flavor the fish. That's pretty good. And now, you know, we could use some parsley perhaps, but you know what? We have better for the green components. And it's called the best olive oil in the world, baby. This one was actually freshly pressed three days ago. It's very nice and very dark. Let's see. Oh. And be generous with the oil. There you go. Oh, baby. That's good. And now for a little more acidity, a bit of le uh, grapefruit juice. It's not a ceviche, guys. So don't go crazy. That's perfect. And now we finish it off with a bit of beautiful fleur de sel. And here we have it, guys. Beautiful sea bream crudo on a beach in Greece. Sunset. Sunset. And you know what? 
We don't even have cutlery because we honestly didn't even think we were going to catch a fish. So now I have these tweezers here. And now, for my favorite part of every single episode, it's tasting time with tweezers. All right, I'm going to make the perfect bite here. Little grapefruit. Oh, wow, look at this. That camera, that camera, this camera, that camera. Good to go? Oh, fuck, it's leaking. Okay, here we go. Mm. And here it is, guys. If you enjoyed the episode of Always Hungry, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode of Always Hungry.